Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Deep Skin, a deep learning approach for skin cancer classification. Introduction. The project aims to address the critical issue of skin cancer where abnormal cell growth leads to tumor formation. Distinguishing between cancerous that is malignant and non-cancerous that is benign tumors is crucial especially in the case of skin cancer which is the most prevalent form of cancer today. The project emphasizes the life-saving impact of early cancer detection. With over 3.5 million skin cancer cases yearly, the project focuses on developing an automatic skin excrescence discovery system using dermoscopy for early diagnosis. This system aims to improve the chances of survival by identifying potential issues before they escalate. The project highlights the difficulty in distinguishing benign and malignant skin lesions even for dermatologists. UV rays contribute to skin cancer and the project uses deep learning to provide an objective and reproducible method for visual assessment. This approach seeks to overcome the challenges in visually identifying subtle differences, particularly in melanoma and non-melanoma lesions. And the project leveraging convolutional neural networks for efficient skin cancer diagnosis. Eliminating manual feature set creation, CNN's excel in object detection and classification ensuring a more objective and efficient process. The project recognizes the transformative impact of deep learning in automating the analysis of dermoscopy images, making the diagnostic process faster and more reliable. And the project benefits those at risk with early and accurate diagnosis, supporting dermatologists with an AI-driven early opinion report and contributing to the broader goal of skin cancer prevention for improved public health. The project envisions a positive impact on individuals at risk, ensuring timely medical intervention and empowering healthcare professionals with advanced tools for more effective patient care. Object of the project So, as I mentioned earlier, the primary aim of the project is to develop an automated system using deep learning techniques to enable early and accurate detection of skin cancer, emphasizing timely intervention for improved patient outcomes. And the second aim is to implement advanced image processing methods including augmentation and segmentation to enhance the quality of dermoscopic images and improve the robustness of the skin cancer detection model. And another goal is to explore and compare the effectiveness of multiple convolutional neural network architectures such as ResNet50, DenseNet169 and VGG16 in classifying skin lesions aiming for a comprehensive understanding of model performance. And the objective also involves to provide dermatologists with a reliable early opinion report through the integration of automation support medical professionals in the accurate diagnosis and timely treatment of skin cancer cases requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements software needed is anaconda primary language used is python front end framework used is flask back end framework used is jupyter notebook database used is sqlite3 and front end technologies used are html css javascript and bootstrap 4 hardware requirements needed are operating system of windows processor of i5 and above ram of 8gb and above and hard disk of 25gb and above now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work so the first step is importing required packages this step involves bringing in necessary software packages libraries and tools that will be used throughout the project Commonly used packages include those for data manipulation like pandas, machine learning frameworks such as TensorFlow or PyTorch, and image processing libraries. The second step is exploring the dataset. So the second step involves loading and exploring the skin cancer dataset. This includes assessing the dataset size, understanding its class distribution, and gaining insights into the structure of the data. Exploratory data analysis is crucial for making informed decisions about data pre-processing and model training. The third step is image processing. So this step focuses on preparing the skin cancer images for model training. Utilizing the image data generator, various image processing techniques such as rescaling, shear transformation, zooming, horizontal flip, reshaping and segmentation are applied. Segmentation in particular involves isolating the relevant regions in the images for further analysis. 
and the next step is train and test split. So after pre-processing, the dataset is split into training and testing sets. The training set is used to train the models while the testing set is reserved for evaluating the model's performance on unseen data, providing an indication of its generalization capabilities. The next step is training and building the model. So the training process involves feeding the pre-processed data into the selected classification models including ResNet 50, DenseNet 169 and VGG 16. During training, the model's parameters are adjusted based on prediction errors to improve their accuracy in classifying skin cancer images. And in the next step, going beyond the initially mentioned algorithms, additional advanced models are created. These models are specifically designed to enhance disease classification capabilities, introducing further sophistication to the project. And using the Flask framework, a user-friendly frontend is constructed. This interface is designed to facilitate user testing and includes features for secure user authentication, ensuring a smooth and protected user experience. And the next step is Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. So, Flask, a web framework for Python, is set up along with SQLite for user sign up and sign in functionality. This establishes the infrastructure for secure user authentication, allowing users to access personalized features and data. So after signing in, users interact with the system by providing input typically in the form of images containing skin diseases for disease analysis. This input serves as the basis for the subsequent analysis. And the provided images undergo pre-processing steps to enhance their quality and suitability for model predictions. These steps include resizing, normalization and other transformations necessary for effective analysis. And the trained models are employed to make predictions based on the pre-processed input. Each model leverages the knowledge it gained during the training phase to provide predictions related to disease classification within the given images. And the final predictions generated by the models are displayed through the front-end interface. This provides users with a comprehensive and easily interpretable view of the analysis results, allowing them to understand and act upon the information provided by the system. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. So the first one is ResNet 50. ResNet 50, a variant of the ResNet architecture, addresses the challenge of training very deep neural networks by introducing residual connections. These connections allow gradients to flow directly through the network, mitigating the vanishing gradient problem. ResNet 50 with its 50 layers has proven effective in image classification tasks due to its ability to capture intricate features and patterns. In the context of skin cancer classification, ResNet 50 is chosen for its deep architecture, which is well suited for handling the complexities of medical image analysis and achieving high accuracy in disease diagnosis. The second algorithm used is DenseNet 169. So DenseNet 169 part of the densely connected convolutional networks family introduces dense connectivity between layers, encouraging feature reuse and alleviating the vanishing gradient problem. With 169 layers, DenseNet 169 efficiently captures intricate patterns in images by enhancing gradient flow and promoting information exchange across layers. In the context of skin cancer classification, this architecture is selected for its parameter efficiency and capability to model complex relationships within medical images contributing to accurate disease identification. And the next algorithm built is VGG16. So VGG16, a variant of the VGG architecture, is known for its simplicity and effectiveness in image classification. With a straightforward structure consisting of convolutional and fully connected layers, VGG16 utilizes small receptive fields and max pooling for feature extraction and downsampling. Despite being an older architecture, VGC16 is chosen for its reliable performance in various image classification tasks, making it a suitable candidate for skin cancer diagnosis where simplicity and interpretability are valuable. Comparison Graphs So this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracies of different algorithms. In this graph on x-axis I have accuracy scores and on y-axis I have algorithm notes. 
so accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances this is precision score comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have precision scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct this is recall score comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted and this is f score comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have f scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so f score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so this is data folder in which i have train and test subfolders so in train folder i have seven different class images folders so i'm opening the first one so these are the images in the first folder and i have images in other folders also using these images we will train the deep learning models and in test images folder i have again seven different class images folders so using these images we will evaluate the performance of the train models and this is sample images folder in which i have these images which will be used in the application later this is static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic it includes code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages this is model file which contains algorithm information which will be loaded into the project during run time this is notebook.ipyme file this is the jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science and this is signup.db file this file is the database file used to store user information so now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer i'm copying it open the anaconda prompt so use the command cd followed by space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button so this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py i'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button so this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app.py file the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it and paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it hit the enter button so the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flask framework so here we can see a sign up link click on it so if you are new users we have to register first fill in all these details and click on register button to register and if we already have an account we can directly log in by clicking on this link so as i already have an account i'm clicking on this link so here we have to provide a credentials username and password and click on login button so it has redirected us to the skin cancer classification page and here we have to upload the skin disease image click on choose file button so from sample images folder i'm giving the first image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button 
so this is the uploaded image and for this uploaded image it has predicted it as the patient is diagnosed with nevus now click on try again button now we'll try giving another image click on choose file button so this time i'm uploading this image and click on open and the image is loaded now click on upload button so for this uploaded image it has diagnosed it as melanoma Now click on try again button. Click on choose file button. So this time I am giving this image and click on open. Now click on upload button. So this is the uploaded image and here we can see the diagnosis that is pigmented benign keratosis. Now click on try again button. Click on choose file button. So this time I'm giving this image and click on open. So the image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So this is the uploaded image. For this image it has diagnosed it as vascular lesion. Click on try again button. Click on choose file button. So this time I'm giving this image and click on open. So the image is loaded. Now click on upload button. So this is the uploaded image and for this image it has predicted it as nevus. So similarly we can upload any skin disease image and can get the classifications. Now click on sign out link. So the conclusion here is the project employs advanced models ResNet 50, DenseNet 169 and VGG 16 ensuring a comprehensive approach to skin cancer classification. This strategy leverages the unique strengths of each model, enhancing the system's accuracy in identifying diverse patterns within medical images. The inclusion of advanced models like Exception and Dexter 201 reflects a commitment to pushing the boundaries of medical image analysis. These models chosen for their ability to capture fine-grained details contribute to improved performance in skin cancer diagnosis. The integration of Flask facilitates the development of a user-friendly interface, enabling smooth image uploads, predictions, and result interpretation. User authentication ensures a secure and personalized experience, enhancing the overall accessibility of the system. And image processing techniques including rescaling and segmentation play a pivotal role in preparing input images for meaningful analysis. Morphological operations and in-painting algorithms ensure that the trained models receive well-processed and relevant input, optimizing diagnostic outcomes. And beyond providing a reliable skin cancer classification system, the project opens avenues for future enhancements. Continuous exploration of emerging models, pre-processing techniques and design improvements holds the potential to further elevate the system's accuracy. This project stands at the intersection of machine learning innovation and user-friendly design, contributing to advancements in dermatological diagnostics. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.